Hello, everybody. I'm in the wrong World of Warcraft. Boop, 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 boop. Bop, 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 bop. Hold on. Let's see how I change these. Sub. Sub. What up, Harper Hex? How you doing tonight? There we go. There we go. All right. Yo, brew fest tomorrow. Hell yeah. What up, Spoopy Mulder? What up, Corrupted Frames? What up, CD Rome? What up, Soup's Kitchen? Good leveling at Megar in retail for the Heritage Armor. Ooh, nice. Uh, let's see. We need to go to. Dude, it's so weird to be on retail after being on Wrath. Uh, Howling Fjord. Speaking of Northrend. Speaking of Northrend. Boing. What up, Goose? Alrighty. Alright. Let's go. Fancy seeing you here. Oh my god, it's Devil Lore. I haven't seen you since 1937. That's a great year. Um, how are you doing? <laughs> on your own stream. Do you have any thoughts on the class unlocks coming in Dragonflight since apparently we're gonna have Tar and Rogues? Uh, I mean, at this point. Just let everybody do everything, you know what I mean? I feel like we've gone this far, like Alliance and Horde can play together, like just... Just let everybody do everything. <laughs> you know? Uh, it has been about that long. Hey, I, I made a, uh... I have a TikTok now. I have my Krendor TikTok and it's doing great. Anyone with the 80 months. Greetings, nerds. Man, this uproar regarding that one dude and his gambling addiction, I uh, made addiction, makes me a bit weary. As a guy that watches a lot of online poker streams, but I know poker's game is skill, it is just a lot of RNG play other value games, though. Uh, I don't really have problems with poker. Like, I agree. I used to watch poker stuff. I think the big issue for me is just the slots. Uh, because, you know, slot machines are literally just hit button, hope, get lucky. It's essentially like doing mount farming. <laughs> Except, you know, I don't lose money from this. Um. Thank you for the 80 months. What the Eighty months. Um, slot machines are also rigged. Yeah, that's true. At least this isn't rigged. This is just RNG. Mackle with the twenty-five. Praying for your dragon soul mount. Take my energy and money. Thank you very much. God willing, I will get that. Gosh darn, dang Bobby mount. Here we go. Let me fire these. Maybe the 25 months. Whoop. There we are. Uh. Yeah, Devil Lord, don't you work at a TikTok now? Devon A11, what the 43 months? Tic Tac. <laughs> Save the 43 months. 
No mount. Woo! I do head up the US live gaming team. Dude, I'll have you know, I'm a proud owner of numerous popular TikToks now. My one TikTok. What the? Why can't I fly? Oh, wrong mount. <laughs> I was like, what? Um. Yeah, I've got my most popular TikToks are like 17,000, which like compared to like some other stuff isn't that much, but for me, I've only made like nine TikToks. <laughs> that was my stick talk. It's basically a higher quality non-content. It really, it's like the perfect non-content platform, which is why I really enjoy it. Screen Bay wanted dynamic receiver to Kenny Galladay. Nah, I think we're good. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop. Give me the Night Elf Warlocks and Brace the Fell after their tree got scorched. Yo, that'd be kind of sick, actually. Night Elf Warlock would be awesome. Bing, ba -doo. Bing, ba -doo. All right, I need to check down here. Hopefully done in like 45 minutes. All right, sounds good. Cat TikTok, I will do more cat TikToks. I've just been on a non-content TikTok roll right now. What do we got here? Already know that one, I'll let someone else get it. Let's head down to this one. Oh, there's some awesome aesthetic out here. Awesome Pandari aesthetic. I also made a uh, Death Knight on Wrath that I need to level so that I can get my mount. I got him to the part where you duel other death knights, so I might just do that if I finish up stuff in Lego Man and then hasn't finished his raid. Been enjoying yourself? Yeah. Watch my first NFL game is the Packers game. Nice, you picked a good one. <laughs> you picked a good one. Uh with your health problems with your stomach, have you done microbiome tests? I have not. But I've taken probiotics. Honestly, my stomach hasn't been too bad recently. I think Green Bay could be all right next week. Tampa Bay defense is insane, but Tampa Bay offense doesn't have Mike Evans. They kind of suck right now. They sucked against New Orleans for most of the game. That is a dead thing, but I already know it, so I don't care. Let's just go to, uh, let's go do the one thing. Oh, that's right. The Josh Allen. <laughs> You should just take up the Bills as your team, honestly. They're the best team in football right now. I've been level, trying to level in Wrath for the Proto Worm mount, but man, how the heck did I do it in 2008? Um, I don't know. Honestly, I've enjoyed leveling in Wrath. Especially the 50% XP boost. It's been nice. To Orgrimmar. Alrighty. Uh, Fournette will be the problem, yeah. They might just stack the box, honestly. 
But then you let Tom Brady beat you. I don't know. They'll probably lose, but I'm holding out hope. <laughs> I'm holding out hope. Uh, luckily, their offensive line's banged up in Tampa Bay, too. Greater age with the three years. Three years. You ever hit three years sub notification twice? I already sub with this account during last week. Blood Bowl, but we out here. I thought so. I felt like it was like a slight deja vu. Well, I'll give you some snaps instead. How's that? For a second three years. <laughs> The right one? Yes. Yes. Here we go. Dragon Soul episode. What are we on? Fifty six. Episode fifty six of Dragon Soul Mount Farming. Hopefully this episode's a good one. More like Dragon Soul. Luckily I don't have to do the whole thing, which is nice. Attack! Attack! Advance! Twilight's hammer is retreating. I can't why am I in combat? Oh there we go. Fortify your positions within. Dude, I love when Caligos talks for 10 minutes. My favorite part of the raid. That's what I look forward to every week. What are you farming? Mounts. But, uh, specifically the XT5, whatever it is. Why am I in combat? Is basically the <laughs> yeah. That and listening to people talk for 10 years. Here we go, here we go. Alright, sick. Baladura. And next one. Thank you, sisters. I am renewed. Four mounts? That was just three mounts. Cause I got the two uh the two mounts at the end. I just don't have the XT whatever. Oh, achievement mount. Okay. Alright. Here we go, wrap this up. We gotta get to the lore talk. Oh, there we go. You know, if you start the Skyrim theme song, right when you start the intro, all tracks and fight finishes right as he shows up. There's no way that's real. There's no way that's real. It seems you truly are the heroes of <laughs> legend. I didn't even mind the spine of Deathwing that much. I just hated the ship before it. That thing sucked. Although spine wasn't fun. I used to do it every week when I was still a streamer boy before Blizz. Wow. That's actually uh, pretty impressive then. I'm not gonna do it, but I'll believe you. All right, here we go. Now we go back down. Now we go back up. Cat. 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 Not necessary. I believe. Yes. It just might. Vikings proven frauds. Yeah. The focus on Iris within the eye of eternity 
may allow us to converge may allow us to use magical matrixes to do some shit that I don't care about travel to Ivy 30 here we go yeah I can't believe I've gotten both life binders it's actually pretty lucky and I only got them in like it wasn't that many tries. In fact, I got two of the same mounts. So I've gotten three mounts from the end of Dragon Soul. I got two of the one life binder and then one of the other ones. And that was all in like 20 runs. So I got super lucky with my Dragon Soul runs. Except for this one. This one's at 56, but you only gotta do half the raid, so whatever. <laughs> Meanwhile, trying to get my blue proto drake and my 1 in 76 chance or whatever, and I haven't gotten it yet. Praise the Titans, praise the Titans, praise the Titans. Oh, I don't even do Siege Org remarks. I'm waiting until they add the skip. You think I'm gonna do Siege or Orgrimmar? <laughs> think again. Necropolis, 55 months in Necropolis. Sweet. There's a 55 months. How do you feel if you got Blue Pro Drake and Wrath Classic? I would be upset because I'd want it in retail. <laughs> Are they adding a skip? I mean, when I interviewed Ian, I was like, can you add a skip to Siege Orgrimmar? And he was like, yeah, we we're probably going to do that. We've had a lot of requests for it and it would make sense. So I would imagine they're going to add a skip unless Ian lied to me. Kriegier with the 82 months, save the 82 months, Kriegier. Swing! 82 months. Bum, 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 bum. Here we go. The fun and excitement of killing dragons very slowly. Alright, everybody just grab a snack, wait this one out. It's gonna take about 50 minutes to get through this talking. in the Skyrim theme. All right, perfect. I mean, that would actually make a good TikTok when you think about it. Actually, would that... I don't think it'd be... It's too long of a time frame. Never mind. Then you could have that... Dude, the amount of TikToks have that automated voice, like, these are the things that you see when playing this thing. Like, you know what I mean, that voice? These are the types of blah 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 Here we go, here we go. Hello, Tina. 
<laughs> yeah, listening to Skyrim theme while waiting for Ultraxian in World of Warcraft Dragon Soul. Fid tech with the two months, save the two months. One, two. Swing. Save the two months. Dude, yeah, I'm the model for a lot of different applications on the internet. Primarily the popular ones. Uh, in fact, I did this voice right here for Ultraxia. Is your pay on Long John Silvers? Uh, I think I ate there once when I was like nine and I liked the Hush Puppies and that's all I remember. All right, here it comes. I am the beginning of the end. The shadow which blots out the sun. The bell which tells your doom. See, I told you, you can't even tell the difference. All right, here we go. Mount time. Here it is. Well, there it is. There it is. There it is. And luckily, I'm as far away from anything I want as possible. Okay, let's go. That music's creepy as shit. What the hell? Go to Firelands. There's still two minutes on my Hearthstone. I don't know. Let's fly over here, I guess. a song request uh, I don't do song requests I don't really do songs I just play video game background music song requests are for like cool kid streamers nah, I'm not a cool kid or a streamer yeah I like squeakers honestly of all the paid mount squeakers Top mount, 100%. 100%. Wait, did I clap for you, FidTech? I think I did. I'm pretty sure I did. I'm gonna do it. one, two. Swing, just in case. I Thanks. forgot. Well. Lil Murph Murph with the three months. Save the three months, Lil Murph Murph. One, two, three. They have the three months. Okay, oh yeah, let's check if the uh, loot and pillage is up. Check if the old loot and pillage is up here. Da -da -da.
Alright. There is... I don't think he's up. No loot and pillage. Is this classic or current? Uh, this is current because Miss Pandaria hasn't been classicified yet. Although I'd enjoy if they skipped the uh, Cataclysm and just went straight to Miss Pandaria. I wouldn't mind that. <laughs> That'd probably be more fun. Yeah, honestly, I would skip Cataclysm, go to Pandaria, and then that's it. <laughs> that's all you need. We wait for the loot and pillage now. So that we can get our one in like 2,000 chains at a mount. You know whenever those like, the thing that's like, hey, there's like a one in 4,000 chance you'll get this illness. I'm always like, that seems pretty likely. And then I remember just doing these mounts and I'm like, oh yeah, never mind. <laughs> yep. Alrighty. I like Cataclysm just for Firelands, love the Tornadoes from Canada. I do like a lot of things from Cataclysm. Like, don't get me wrong. I actually do think Cataclysm had some decent stuff. I think what I hated most about Cataclysm was how separated everything was, if that makes sense. Like, examples, right? Pandaria, everything's connected. One big continent. Outland, everything's connected, right? One big continent. Uh, Northren, everything's connected, one big continent, but Cataclysm was like, take a portal to Mount Hyjal, take a portal to Uldum, take a portal to literally everywhere, unless you're in Azeroth, but they, the th I think the problem with Cataclysm was they redid so much of the old stuff that, like, the new stuff didn't have as much, uh... It just didn't have as much. <laughs> you know what I mean? And so, I still think it was good to go back and redo, like, a lot of the world. Like, I actually don't think that's a bad idea. But I think... It, it's like the... It's the trade-off you make, right? I don't know. But... Uh, Vajir, I did not like. <laughs> um... So, I don't know. Broken Isles, oh yeah, Legion, which again, look at that, Broken Isles, it was great. Uh, even like Xandalar and Kul Taras, like it's, you have two big like continent things, but they're still like separated, you still have to go back and forth. Like it's better, but, and then uh, Shadowlands even had that issue. Right? Like, I think even Shadowlands had this, shit, this issue, where it was like, you go to Ouroboros, and then you take... Ouroboros is like the train station, you know what I mean? You go to the train station, it's like, oh, take the train to Revendreth, take the train to Ardenweld, and then there's the Maw, which... <laughs> I feel like I have to drink every time I mention the Maw. Um... I feel like the best expansions and the best things are just 
when everything's combined. I say that and then I look at Draenor and I'm like, Ugh. But here's the thing with Draenor. Draenor wasn't bad in terms of, like, zones. Like, the zones of Draenor were good. The raids were good. The problem was garrisons were ass. And they also kind of messed up garrisons because it was supposed to be like, oh, I could have my garrison in the Grand. I could have my garrison in Gorgrond. I could have my garrison anywhere. And it was like, uh, no. You can't. <laughs> it was like, oh, okay. And then this was supposed to be like a big city and it wasn't. It was just like an expansion of a lot of things were supposed to happen and then they didn't. I think that's what was bad about Draenor. But I mean, it still had some good stuff. So. So far with Dragonlands or Dragonflight, I keep calling it Dragonlands. Uh, I do enjoy that everything's connected. I like all the zones. I like the talent trees. So I am hopeful. I'm hopeful because it has all the things that I like so far. And I'm hoping that that means something. <laughs> I actually still like BFA. Like, I say it quite a few times, but I had fun in BFA. I think uh, the middle part of BFA was bad, but I, I feel like the start and the end of BFA were actually pretty solid. And I really liked a lot of things in it. I don't know. I think it gets overly criticized. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, come on, let's go, spawn, spawn. Uh, and taking a look at all this, oh my god. Let's see. Uh, Legion was also very good. Obviously. Uh... In fact, Legion was probably the best expansion next to, like, Wrath and Burning Crusade. Uh, I'd probably put Legion, then Pandaria on my list. I feel like I've already made a list, but I'm, like, doing it again. <laughs> Most of Uldir sucked. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the systems are what was, what was bad in BFA. It's a legit ancient MMO concept we moved past. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I agree. There's like, it's like when, um, like player housing, you know what I mean? And then they're just like, oh, well, if everybody wanted player housing, you'd have to sacrifice a raid tier. But like, when you think about it, there's a decent amount of raids I would sacrifice for player housing. <laughs> like, uh, there's quite a few raids I'd give up for player housing. What I love about Legion 2 was the artifact stuff. Like, I think the fishing pole artifact uh, was cool, the artifact weapons were cool, and then instead of, like, building upon it, it just kind of went away. I don't know. I thought they could have did more with it, but... I don't know. It just felt weird. It felt weird being like, here's your crazy cool weapons, you've done it, now give them back. <laughs> Give him back now. <laughs> they all broke. Sorry, guys. Time to return them. This guy must have died right when I got here or something.
And then they're like, yeah, here's like a artifact necklace or artifact. Like, that's not the same. That's not as cool. Hurricane Deepka with the eight months over the eight months. Hurricane Deepka. Seven, eight. Swing. Over the eight months. Deepka. It's like I rented a dope airsoft gun and ran out of time. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh man, maybe they'll improve. Like, not e they didn't even have to like keep. Here's my okay. Here's my problem. They didn't have. They didn't even have to keep the artifacts per se, right? You don't have to be like, oh, you have to use this specific artifact weapon. They could have kept the artifact weapon system, right, or something like similar. Like, oh, here now in the next expansion, you get to get this like other really cool weapon. You like earn and work towards and have a talent tree for and all this stuff. Oh, village. Like I felt like they could have done more with it. And nothing. Woo! All right. Do -do 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 -do. Bill Robertson with the 100 bits. Leave the 100 bits. Bill Robertson. Thank you, thank you. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. They should have, like, Build-A-Bear artifacts. <laughs> Make your own Build-A-Bear artifact, and you get to put your heart inside of it. With every artifact weapon, you get one special heart to put inside your... <laughs> yeah, Vikings got shit on tonight. Thank God. I wish it was 2008, dude. Me too. That was a, that was a fun year. I had a good time in 2008. That was like my first year at community college. I was writing WoW scripts. Oh, wait. I wasn't. That was a year before I started making WoW videos. I was playing Wrath of the Lich King. That's what I was doing. But I was going to community college, trying to figure out what to do. Then I realized, oh yeah, I'll make YouTube videos. Yeah, let's see how this is. How about just build a bear? Yo, if they gave druids build a bear, that'd be kind of fun. I guess you kind of can. You have like the barbershop druid form stuff now. They should do it even more. 2008, I was 13, started playing Riot. Yeah, I was. I guess I'd be like 19. I think I was 19. Uh, let's check if this is up. I bet he just died and I'm gonna have to wait like 20 minutes again. If he's not here, I'm just gonna go do uh, Mogushan vaults or something. Dude, I made the Lucky Do rap like nine years ago now, right? Hold on, when was it? I feel like I just looked this up. Uh, greetings, Fred. Greetings. October 5th, 2012. It'll be 10 years. It'll be 10 years in two weeks. Jesus Christ. Ten years. That's insane, man. I'm going to Dragon Soul. Er, not Dragon Soul. Mogusha. Ten 
10 year anniversary 24 hour stream. I would never do a 24 hour stream. Like, I would actually never do one. I would do a 2.4 hour stream. That would be more on brand. <laughs> 2.4 minute stream. Dude, uh, I've been too old for that shit since I was like 21. <laughs> In we go. The ancient vaults of the Mongol, untouched by time for thousands of years. Listen, I need my sleep. I need all the sleep I can get. Many young Pandaran warriors have vanished. Yeah, you kidding me? You think my body could handle being awake 24 hours? The last, the closest I've been awake for 24 hours recently was was I think when we went to England, like six years ago. I was losing it then. And look what happened after that. All my heartburn and shit kicked in. That was close. Sure was. Almost died. Seems to have activated with the demise of the guardians. I fear what we may find within. Do you know when you search Lucky Do Rap, you have your own topic page? I don't know what that means. Lucky do rap. I don't know what topic is. I mean, there's song lyrics. Songlyrics.com. Like, wow, Krendor topic. I still don't know what that means. Yeah, like a hot topic. Mount farming is a warrior for us all. Dude, mount farming is a warrior is great. What are you talking about? You got heroic leap. You got charge. You take all your engineering shit. It's fantastic. It's actually one of the easiest things to mount farm on. We have disturbed what should not have been disturbed. He cannot be free to escape this prison. You must destroy him. It's YouTube auto-generated videos for music. What? <laughs> what? Sick. Let's go, let's go. This is not the land we have seen. Alright, here we go. Demon Hunter. Demon Hunters are like, I'm too old to play a Demon Hunter. Does that make sense? When I try to play a Demon Hunter, I just feel like I'm trying to play like StarCraft at 800 APM. Alright, here we go. Let's get it down. And this guy down. Well. There we are. I mean, I don't play Fury. I play Arms. Now you done made me angry. Now you done made me angry. Time to play. Playing Furies for losers. Demon Hunter is kind of like the Yasuo of uh, World of Warcraft. That is true. Um, playing mage convinced me to never play that portals again. Well, that's why you go engineer. You got portals to everywhere. I got more portals than mages do. Although I guess you could. Uh, be a mage engineer, but it's a little wacky. And then on my uh, Dark Iron Dwarf, 
on retail, I can just use my mole machine to go wherever. But it ain't no thing. Take your trinkets. Merlin Herc with the 63 months and the 63 months. Take your trinkets. They're the 63 months. There are indeed wormholes. We've got the wormhole Argus, wormhole Pandaria, wormhole Draenor, wormhole hole, hole, hole Northren, wormhole Everlook. And Area 52, Kalteras, and Zandalar. So I can go pretty much anywhere I want. And all it took was a bunch of money and engineering farming. <laughs> and lovely. They cost a shit ton to get your engineering up. I spent so long doing it in BFA. Oh, here we go. But I had to get my mount farming abilities up. You have to level your engineering for each expansion. Some are easier than others. They fixed dying during the mole machine animation? I have no idea. I've never died during the animation. Who would die the swift? Well known as a masterful archer and genius thief. He stole from the rich and kept everything for himself. What is this? What is this? What is this? Can he be demented? According to these texts, they are a maniacal ruler to ever abuse the imperial throne. Fear. Alright, here we go. We're almost done with this place. In body and spirit. Body and spirit. Spin the wind, spin the wind. Spin the win, and we won. Sick. A secret passage has opened Whoa, the secret passage. Look at the dust upon the floor. These dark halls have not seen footfalls for many centuries. These dark halls have not seen footfalls for centuries. These dark calls have not seen the footfalls. These dark calls have not seen the footfalls. Alright, here we go. And bent them to their nefarious will. Man, I've gotten so much shit I can sell for money. Look at the mount this time, I feel it. Dude, I gotta get the mount this time. There's no way I don't get the mount. No way I don't get the mount this time. Wow, you know what? One thing I have seen so far is the newest pointless top 10 that I gave a like, comment, and subscribe to. That's insane. 
Alright, so we're at uh how many attempts here? Fifty-six. So clearly that's more than fifty. That's a hundred. Carry the one. That means we're at like a fifty forty-three percent chance. Or wait, carry the two. Uh, to the 8th power. That means there's like a 78% chance this thing's dropping here. When you do the math correctly. Here it is. It's just, it is what it is, right? It is what it is. Let's go, uh, let's do Firelands real quick. That's an easy one. Let's do the thing where you fly over. Why is your gnomish army knife on your bars? Uh. <laughs> You can resurrect a dead ally. That's why. It's not like I'm gonna do that, but... Listen, I don't even know half the shit on my bars. I'm not even good at World of Warcraft. Uh, Hydra. Whee! Here we go. Doo -doo -doo. All right, we fly. You know, let's, uh, let's Ashes of Alar here. Ride the fire bird to the fire raid. That's got to be good luck. I hear you're a pretty good healer. I mean, that's true. If there's one thing I'm just truly amazing at, it's got to be healing. Uh, my favorite mount? Probably my swift Zulian tiger. It's actually pretty rare. It's actually very rare, and I got it back in... I actually got it in... Was it Wrath of the... I think it was. I think I got it in Wrath of the Lich King before they removed it. Because Cataclysm, they redid ZG, right? I got it like two weeks before they removed the old Zul'Gurub. Yeah, it was Cataclysm. Alright, that checks out. Let's sell a bunch of stuff. Can you sell rare mount for real life money? I don't know. Some guy on Discord messaged me and was like, I want to buy your PUBG... Like, cloak or whatever. Whatever that thing was that when it originally came out. They're like, I pay like eight billion dollars. I'm like, uh, yeah, no thanks. Sick. Okay. All right, here we go. In fact, here we'll go to the we'll mount up the tiger here. Look at that. Alrighty. Firelands was a cool raid, though. It's weird because I always relate this instance to Gordon Ramsay. 
Which actually kind of checks out, like Hell's Kitchen. And I don't even relate to it because of that, or relate it to that because of that. It's because, uh, when I first started really getting into mount farming back a couple years ago, I would just run around doing a bunch of mounts. And I remember this one specifically. I was watching Kitchen Nightmares, and then I started watching Hotel Nightmares. I watched one episode of Hotel Nightmares, and it was while I did this raid. And for some reason, that just stuck with me, and I can't ever come to this place without thinking of Hotel Nightmares. And here's the thing, Hotel Nightmares, literally just Kitchen Nightmares. It's literally, I thought it was gonna be like, Gordon Ramsay going around to the hotel being like, Oh, you bloody donkey, you don't have the fucking, uh, like, linen cloth basket sorted. But he was just like, hey, your kitchen sucks. And I was like, well, I could have watched, like, any other, like, this isn't even a hotel nightmare. It's just kitchen nightmares in a hotel. Yeah, hotel hell. All right, whatever. It's the same shit. <laughs> All righty. Did I run RFC reminds me of Billy and Mandy? Oh yeah, I remember that show. It's interesting what you tie into certain things, like what memory, what memories you relate to certain things. I need to watch some more of that hotel. Uh, I need to watch like another episode of that just to make sure my conclusion is correct. That it's just hotel kitchen nightmares. Oh my guys realized I didn't uh, do the bird thing. <laughs> well, you know what? Whatever. I'm gonna clear the. I'm gonna clear the whole raid. I haven't actually cleared the whole raid in a while. Lego man hasn't showed up to be like, hey, I'm done with my thing yet. So let's just clear the whole thing. Yeah, so what you're supposed to do there is you let the bird walk around and drop feathers, and then you pick up all the feathers, then you kill the bird, and then you use your feathers to fly over to this part, and then you don't have to do it. You don't have to clear the entire raid. Maybe it's a good luck charm. All right, so now we go kill Spider. Actually, now I gotta kill these packs. Hold on. Okay. Let's keep killing all the packs of stuff. Yeah, it probably is. This rat just makes me think of, uh, like a kid show or something. Like one of those, remember Scholastic Book Fairs? 
you ever have your school where you would do a scholastic book fair and then they'd have like a bunch of books you could buy as a kid? I always liked those. Hey, it kind of looks like Stuart Little. Yeah, I like the old scholastic book fairs. And then he'd be like, uh, I need money to buy a book. And then he'd buy a book and then he'd be like, wow. I got a book. <laughs> bam, 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 bam. They had like, uh, what are those like kids books? They had all the, like Arthur. That's some other kids book. They had the ghost, the, what was it called? Duel? The fucking ghost bumps, goose, ghoul bumps. What the show is that show called? Goosebumps. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> oh yeah, they give a mouse a cookie. I feel like that's what I'm thinking of with that mouse. That's probably the actual book I'm thinking of. Whoop. Whoop. Sick. Oh yeah, give a moose a muffin. That's another one. What a genius author, man. Whoop. I'll look that up right now. Give a moose a muffin. Hell yeah. Dude, look at that. That moose is amazing. Laura Joff Numeroff. Give a mouse a cookie. Yeah, there he is. If you give a mouse a cookie. Where's this book from? 1985? I didn't know it was that old. I thought it was like the 90s. The shit. Give a mouse a cookie. Here's the thing, what happens if you give a mouse a cookie? What if you give a real mouse a cookie? What's it gonna do? Can it even carry it? Oh, I remember seeing the book with the rainbow fish on it. I remember. It eats it and bites. More mice. I mean, that checks out. Diabetes. Diabetes. Come on. Come on. There we go. There it is. Laura Numerov. They write anything else? Wow, they wrote a lot. Oh my god. I didn't realize they wrote so many books. Laura Numerov also wrote If you give a pig a pancake, if you give a cat a cupcake, if you give a pig a party, that might be it. <laughs> She also wrote, Beatrice doesn't want to, and it's a dog that does not want to. Uh, what else is there? There's the mouse. She definitely found her niche. <laughs> oh wait, here's a whole bunch. Hey, she's got a bunch of books. What is this? Happy birthday, mouse. If you take a mouse to school, that's against, like, school code. They're gonna freak out. What grandmas do best? The jelly beans. 
what sisters do best the 10 step guide to living with your monster now that that's getting into like youtube 2000s territory 10 simple steps to live with a monster uh, so now we go over here number seven will blow your mind let's see is there anything else i can kill to summon this guy gonna kill these first what are the steps I don't know I haven't read it bell rock Do these count towards uh the horn blowing Dude, I'd love to read children's books on stream. That'd be great. Uh, as long as it's not copyright. Whee! What did I used to watch? Dude, I used to watch a lot of Arthur as a kid. Uh, I think I'd read some of the Arthur books, too. Arthur's just a classic. Oh, this big pack will summon him. I feel like I read Goodnight Moon, didn't I? Or I read, like, Goodnight World of Warcraft something. I did something with it. Summon the thing. Maybe, oh yeah, it might have been good night. Wow. Yes. Outsiders encroach on the Fire Lord's private grounds. Find their trail. Find them from. Oh, good night, Orgrimmar. That's what it was. That's what it was. There he is. Wahoo, wahoo, wahoo. Lord of fire, it hurts. My power will not be contained. Turns out his power was contained. Woo. All right, here we go. That was fun. Yeah, I saw the Arthur ending where it was like a looper. Yeah, he's like the author telling the story. I saw that. I saw that on the old YouTube.com. All right, let's click this thing. The shit. I feel like I never heard that. It's like, bang, bang. Alright. <laughs> Dude, I just went to Twitter and someone got the trash bag. So if you didn't listen, on the latest Cox and Crendor, we came up with a new uh, McDonald's menu item. So we have numerous McDonald's menu items we created. But now we created the trash bag, which is where you take two Happy Meals, one Chicken Nugget Happy Meal, and one Hamburger Happy Meal. And then you combine them all into one box and shake it up. You're also allowed to use one sauce, so like a barbecue sauce or whatever you want, and dump that in. 
And that's called the trash bag. <laughs> You don't have to eat the apple slices or the whatever else they give you. It's just strictly the fries. You gotta mix the fries in there. So it's fries, chicken nuggets, hamburger, and then sauce. And you put it in and you just shake it. <laughs> I'll eat it the next time I go. Perfect. If anyone eats it, tweet a picture. So we recently had uh, 32 minutes ago, Sticks Tack tweeted to us and said, here it is, the trash bag. Hold on, I'll... Here we go. There they are. Although that looks like they ate it already. <laughs> that looks like they ate some of it already. But maybe I'm underestimating the amount of fries they give you. Or overestimating? One or the other. <laughs> they are smaller portions, that is true. Well, why? Why not? Yeah, he definitely ate some of it already. I mean, how could you resist? Mount, mount, mount. No mount. We also have numerous other menu items. Something has spooked one of their brutosos. Uh, hold on. Panic. Police chaos is the last thing the city needs. Help the legends rescue the cavalry. Here we are. Someone made this menu for us on Twitter. There you go. So we got the McCox and Crendor. That's a McRib with a bacon McDouble in it. You got the McCox, which is a cheeseburger and an egg McMuffin. You got the McCrendor, which is a Big Mac with a McChicken replacing the middle bun. You've got a Guy Hero. That's a double quarter pounder. And in the middle, you have another quarter pounder. Uh, the Gray Storm's a filet fish with four chicken nuggets in it. Uh, Tito Watts, two sausage burritos, unwrapped. So you take all the wrap, you take the filling of the sausage burritos out, and then you put it in a sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddle. Then you have <laughs> the Newport Richie, which is, uh, hotcakes and maple syrup on the outside, and then inside's a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit. And then you have the Mick the Appleberry which is a McRib with an apple pie inside of it, which is probably the most, like, logical one. So you can have, like, apple, like, cinnamon apples with actual pork a lot of the time. So I feel like that's, like, the most... It makes the most sense. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, yeah, we used to have the McCox and Crunder with the jalapeno double instead of the bacon, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, so those are the, the secret menu items, really. Have you ever learned why the McRib's a limited time menu item? I mean, probably just to keep the hype going, I'd imagine. I feel like if they brought it back full time, it'd probably lose some of that hype. Plus, I think it has something to do with the amount of pork and everything. Just beat the Nathras. Alright, good. Good, good, good. 
Do, 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 do. Whoops. Is the uh, world mount up this week? I don't think so. Might be next week. Getting a breakfast item and a lunch item at the same time seems hard. Didn't they make it so you could get breakfast items more often? I don't even remember. Was that like a, a limited time thing? McDonald. Oh, they stopped doing that? Damn. Oh, it's limited time. I see. Hours. According to McDonald's, breakfast is served until 10.30 or 11 a.m. Breakfast all day was discontinued in the quarantine era. Ah. I feel like they should still have, like, midnight breakfast. You know what I mean? Like, when it hits midnight, you can get breakfast items. Like, rib is only sold when pork prices are low. They buy a lot in bulk. Ah, okay, that makes sense. That's what I thought. Just something like that. McDonald's expands its popular all-day breakfast menu this fall. How old is this article? <laughs> what the shit is this? Where is... I just want to see McDonald's stuff. Corporate McDonald's. I don't care. <laughs> food quality and sourcing. Creating a future of secure, sustainable food that has a positive impact. Who actually goes here and reads this? Is there like a person? Is this like for a school project? Where you're like, I have to go to corporatemcdonalds.com and read about the food quality and sourcing of McDonald's. Let's see, let's see, what do they have? Food safety. We have a long-standing commitment to serve safe quality food to customers in every single market each and every day. Recent progress, all right. 2,000 farmers globally trained on McDonald's good agriculture practices standards. What's that mean? What does that even mean? Good practice standards? That's just buzzwords. 2077 third party audits performed through our supplier quality management system. What does that mean? Does that mean they're just auditing themselves? Is that just like a self audit? Like, yeah, we use the soup supplier quality management to really figure out how it's going. 93% of our audited suppliers fully met our standards. I'm not gonna lie, 93%? It seems kind of low. You'd want, I feel like you'd want like 100. Or like 98, 99. Like 93. It's like almost 1 in every 10 sucks. <laughs> 46,000 restaurant food safety audits. Cool, man. Our strategy. Through our food safety, we work to source and serve safe food and beverages, building trust. Our strategy is centered on these three operating principles. Okay, here we go. Customer obsessed. The safety of our food and that of our customers is non-negotiable and a top priority. What is it? It makes it sound like they want obsessed customers. <laughs> That's a weird term to use. Customer obsessed. And it makes it sound like McDonald's is sitting around like, guys, we're so obsessed with the customer. We need this to be insane. Better together. Our food safety systems and decisions are based on science and validated by external third parties. Okay. And committed to lead. We lead the advancement of food safety from farm to customer and deploy processes to anticipate risk. Oh my god, it keeps going. There's so much here. This is like reading 
I feel like at the end of this, it's gonna ask, it's gonna ask me to like sign something or like agree to the terms and services. Global food safety initiative. There's like this is this makes me realize how many things exist that are just <laughs> like for example, they say. McDonald's collaborated with S-Safe to develop a simple food safety culture assessment tool for companies to use, elevating food safety culture around the world. We also ran food safety webinar sessions with our suppliers through 2021. What is S-Safe? S-Safe is a global non-profit membership organization that works to strengthen food safety and improve human plant and animal health and well-being. Okay. Meet our members. Mars, McDonald's, Nestle, Tyson, Coca-Cola, Danon, they're Danone, Kellogg's. Yeah, I guarantee you they don't give a shit. You think these those are all companies I would not trust. <laughs> We have shared our farm level... Wait. Uh, we are members of the research organization Camden BRI and Center for Food Safety at the University of Georgia, enabling us to keep up to date with the latest science and industry practices. There's like so many things where it's like, hey, what do you do for a living? Oh, I work at uh, Camden BRI. I work at S-Safe. Like, <laughs> there's people that actually have these jobs. We collaborated with the Philippine National Department of Agriculture in the training program on food safety risk management. Like, what's that even mean? What, did, what does that mean? What happened when that occurred? Plus, like, there's, like, webinars. Like, we made sure there's food safety webinars. I just picture some guy sitting there like, I don't want to be here. Uh, follow me. Oh, are we good now? <laughs> Market focus, continuous improvement in Egypt? McDonald's Egypt sets food safety objectives for their restaurants on an annual basis, aligning with cross-functional teams to agree on KPIs. What's a KPI? Restaurants are continuing their work to improve the overall food safety culture, becoming ambassadors for the McDonald's brand. Regular training, training refreshes, sharing challenges, communicating with global teams, all drive progress. What challenges? Are they like playing games? Since rolling out ISO 22,000 guidelines in 2017, McDonald's Egypt... Oh, key performance indicators. Okay. Aims to have all stores accredited by the end of 2024. Food safety team participated in organization of the first national food safety conference. The National Food Safety Conference? Dude, screw BlizzCon, we can all go to the National Food Safety Conference. I just picture going to that and them being like, Oh, what panel do we have here? Oh, this is the what temperature to cook your meats at. And he's just like, well, welcome to the meat cooking uh, the panel. Today we'll be talking about the various temperatures you can cook your meats to. Uh, it is once believed that pork was presumed to be cooked at 165 degrees Fahrenheit to burn away all of the dangerous bacteria, but now it is presumed you can go as low as 160 degrees Fahrenheit, giving you a 5 degree uh, leeway to uh, cook your pork. Now, when it becomes a red meat, uh, such as a beef product, you will have to go uh, to at least 150 degrees. Now, it will say 165 is the safest, but if you hold at 150 degrees Fahrenheit for at least 10 minutes, that will indeed kill the bacteria as well. Now, when it comes to chicken, that is a definite 165 degrees Fahrenheit to kill the bacteria. Any questions from the audience? Um, where am I? <laughs> Uh, 
what the shit is this? This guy's like poking the, McDo <laughs> the McDonald's patties with a meat thermometer, but they're just like pre-cooked. Uh... <laughs> the box factory. <laughs> I love the box factory bit. You can walk around my desk, follow the arrow. Uh, swim, walk, fly, method of storing food. I've never heard of that. What is that? Swim, walk, fly? Swim, walk, fly. Food. Raw fresh water and saltwater fish, holer flip. Uh, wait. If it can't run, walk, swim, or fly, don't put it in your mouth. Uh, wait. Food safety simplified. Gul'dan has fled to the dark portal. Quickly, champion. He has storage receiving. Frozen food shall remain frozen. Cold food. Food shall be kept at 41 degrees Fahrenheit or below. Dry food. Food shall be stored six inches off the floor. Chemical bottles shall be stored away from food products. Uh, cold food shall be stored properly. Start from the top shelf. Remember that swim, walk, fly. But it, it doesn't say. What? Ready to eat foods, raw seafood, raw whole meats, raw, raw ground meats, raw poultry. Wait, fish above mammals, mammals above poultry. But why? Is it for like, if sh like the juices are dripping down on each other or something? The third stop inspectors like to visit the preparation room. They will check in the following produce washing procedures, thawing procedures, cutting board conditions, food handling procedures. This is a critical step. Uh, recommended safe minimum internal temperatures. Steaks and roasts, 145. Fish, 145. Pork, 145. Ground beef, 160. Egg, 160. Chicken breast, 165. Whole poultry, 165. Wait, egg dishes have to be 160? Hold hot food at 135 or above. Cold food at 41 or below. But then you, it doesn't make sense. Egg dish is 160, but you like, like, you like crack an egg on some shit and cook it for like two seconds. Fully cooked egg dishes. Oh, I see. Swim, walk, fly means you store fish at the top, then beef, pork, then chicken. That way, if anything drips down, the stuff blows cooked at a higher temperature. Via. Oh, okay. So it was kind of right. Sick. All right. <laughs> All right. Oops. That is sexy mini map, the spinning mini map thing. Um. Anyway, back to McDonald's. We got off topic there. Actually, speaking of which, how does everybody like their steak cooked? If you're getting a steak, how do you how do you order it? Medium rare, medium rare, medium rare, medium rare. Depends on the steak. Medium, 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 medium well. <laughs> Bovine University, raw, medium red. Blech. Rare, medium, rare. Medium. Medium because I can't screw it up. That's the thing. Usually if I order steak at a restaurant, 
I go with medium. Because it's the exact point. They can't screw it up if you go medium. If it's like slightly below medium or slightly above medium, you're like, alright, whatever. But if like I'm cooking steak myself, I try to go for medium rare. That's usually my my tactic. Bump, 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 bump. I'm 23, I still don't know what any of those words mean. Well, it's like uh, the temperature at which your steak is cooked. So usually you cook it to that certain point and then you let it rest for like five minutes. Dude, I love cooking though. Cooking's fun. In fact, I was gonna make my uh, pulled pork uh, sometime this week, probably for football. Usually when I make pulled pork, you just buy your big pork uh, thing, and all you do is you just put it in the crock pot, or your slow cooker, whatever you want to call it, and then you just throw some shit in, and then you just let it sit for like eight hours. And then you, you take your two forks and you just like shred it apart. And normally I would just buy barbecue sauce, but I kind of want to make my own barbecue sauce this time. Which apparently is pretty easily, or easily, uh, it's apparently pretty easy. You just like take ketchup and just mix shit into ketchup. That's like all it is. <laughs> Potato salad? I like a good potato salad, yeah. Well done, steak eaters will be banged. Like, if you, at least go, like, medium well if you're gonna go, like, well done, right? Like, going full well done is just, it's just not good. Like, at least go with a medium well. Where it's, like, it's, it's almost there, but it's, like... <laughs> Well done, plus ketchup. Listen, I'm not saying to do medium well. I'm just saying medium well is better than well done. Oh yeah, some rubs. Dude, I went to a friend's, like, uh, pig barbecue thing. They always have, like, a pig barbecue. And somebody there made chicken wings. They, like, smoked them. Those were so good. <laughs> Those were such good chicken wings. They looked like they were burned. I was like, dude, are these chicken wings burned? And then I ate them, and I was like, holy shit, these are amazing. At a rare steak once at a place got food poisoning from apparently they just didn't cook it at all and served it. What the shit? Jesus. That's not even rare, that's just raw. <laughs> it's fucking raw, you donkey. Alright. Uh is it night spire? That's why usually at restaurants I go medium, because I just, I don't trust restaurants. But like, if I buy it myself, I'm like, okay, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Thanksgiving, you gotta go turkey. Yeah, I do Thanksgiving turkey. Usually ham is for like all the other stuff, like Christmas ham, I Easter ham, coming, breakfast Ready? ham. <laughs> Thanksgiving's like the turkey day. It's literally called Turkey Day. I peered into all possible futures in search of 
Turkey sucks. Turkey's gross. What the shit? Turkey's amazing. How do you not like turkey? Dude, I'll make like turkey burgers. You just buy like ground turkey meat and you just form it into a patty. You just make turkey burgers. I love turkey burgers. You take turkey. Uh, you take your turkey burger and I put some like monster cheese on top of that. Some uh, grilled onions. Some grilled mushrooms. Oh my god. It's bland? Yeah, just use salt. That's what salt's for. <laughs> And plus, then you... It's probably just like overcooked or something, man. Yeah, you're brining it. High blood pressure? Well, like... <laughs> Eating salty turkey once a year isn't going to do anything. It's if you're eating... Here's the thing. If you're, like, seasoning your food and, like, whatever, that's nothing. It's when you eat at Olive Garden, and then they're like, Oh, I got the chicken Alfredo at Olive Garden. You look at the sodium content. It's like 5,000 milligrams of sodium. Literally, like, 5,000 milligrams of sodium in there. It's like sodium for four days worth of survival. Alright. No mounts yet, but I'm sure they're about to show up any second. Honestly, cooking your own food is always great. I've actually always enjoyed more when I'm cooking my own food than eating out. And it's cheaper. Five thousand milligrams is five grams, right? Uh, yes, correct. Yeah, sodium isn't the only thing that causes high blood pressure problems. Lack of exercise cause can blah, 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 cause high blood pressure. Sugar can cause high blood pressure. There's a bunch of different things. Being dehydrated can cause high blood pressure. Yeah, alcohol. <laughs> Smoking. Yeah, stress. Boom, boom, boom. Working at Amazon. And you're talking to somebody with high blood pressure. Well, like, I have borderline high blood pressure. Which is part of the reason I work out a lot. And try to eat at home more. And when I eat out now, I look at the sodium contents of food. Hence why I know all the sodium contents of food. Pretty much whenever I'd go to the doctor, my blood pressure was like 130 over 90. And they were like, eh, it's high, but it's not like a high, high. Just start changing your lifestyle. I was like, okay. It'll probably hit a point where I have to take blood pressure meds, though. I'm just trying to... Delay it until I have to. My, uh, my other stuff's good, though. My, uh, what do they call it? Cholesterol. My cholesterol and everything's good. So that's at least something. <laughs> I am Uh-oh. Yeah, when you start cooking, just make, like, easy stuff. It's hard to mess up. Ah, 
Honestly, it's why I love grilling. Grilling is like super easy. You just take shit, you throw it on the grill, you get a meat thermometer, and then you just cook it, and you just keep being like, let's see, is my meat done? You stick it in, you go, hey, look, it is, and then you eat it. <laughs> and then usually I'll cook, dude, cooking corn on the grill versus boiling corn is like night and day. Like, boiling corn tastes so bland. Boiled corn is like, yeah, it tastes like old people corn, but when you grill corn, it like brings out the sugars and everything in the corn. Oh my god, it's so good. And I'm out. Start cooking with a HelloFresh using code Krendor. Hold on, is that our code? Cox and Krendor, HelloFresh. No, it's HelloFresh.com slash Cox90. <laughs> oh wait, that might be an old one. Honestly, those, like, HelloFresh and those are actually good ways to start cooking. Because they tell you, like, what to do word for word. Like, open this thing that's pre-measured. Put this in, blah, blah, blah. One day, seven days. Oh, is this it? Like. Don't know what that's like. Oh, I know, it is MeUndies.com slash Crendor now. Look at that. I guess they changed it up. What do you know? All right, MeUndies.com slash Crendor. <laughs> Fantastic. I didn't realize they changed it. All right, reverse, reverse. Verify it to you. Every time, Jesus. YouTube is just like, let's verify it's you. All right, it's me. Hold on. Okay, I do this. Yes, it's me. Dang. Perfect. Okay. New sign in. Did you just sign in? Yes! <laughs> Alright. HD. Uh, oh, wait, no! Never mind. That was meundies.com slash Crendor. Scratch that. It's not, it's not that. It's HelloFresh dot com slash cox 16 all right no longer is it cox 90 it's cox 16 <laughs> use that one that's the the freshest hello fresh i'm mixing everything up but if you get those me on these and you want to eat some me on these with barbecue sauce or something me on these dot com slash is what you're looking at i'm running out of points <laughs> perfect <laughs> Fan has the presence of the tide stone has drawn out the fanatical followers of Queen the fanatical followers. But honestly, HelloFresh is great. Whenever we get HelloFresh, I'm like, hell yeah, man. 90 to 16, yeah, it's the economy. <laughs> economy. Alright. The best part about it is that after you cook something with HelloFresh, don't tell them I told you this, alright? Even though I've said this numerous times already. But if you make a thing and you like the recipe for it, you don't have to be like, oh man, I'm gonna order that from HelloFresh again. You can literally take the recipe card and be like, oh, I learned how to make this and now I have the recipe. And then you just go to the grocery store and you just buy all the shit again. And then there you go. <laughs> We've done that a few times where we like remade the recipe we learned from HelloFresh or whatever. The echo of the God and then you're like sick. You and you know, yeah, you just go to the grocery store. <laughs> Do you actually view recipes in advance on the app? Yeah. We did that, uh, what was the old one before HelloFresh? We used the Blue Apron. We used to do that with Blue Apron. 
and then, dude, Blue Apron, I don't know what happened to them. They, like, went downhill. Hello, Fresh Slop Butter. The last two Blue Aprons we ordered, like, years ago before we got a Hello Fresh thing, they sucked ass. Like, the food in there was, like, old. Some of the, like, vegetables and shit were, like, rotten. I was like, hey, uh... The shit's not good. And they were like, oh, we'll refund you for the cost of that meal. And then we stopped using Blue Apron. <laughs> but we did get some good recipes from Blue Apron back then. But HelloFresh has been a lot better. Then we have no Mario. time to lose. Heroes, the paths are open. Use the pillars of creation. Use the pillars of Aguin's creation. Before the Legion claims the Dude, I had a tweet today where, uh, where was it? Where's my tweets? That shit. JP deleted his tweet? Well, before JP deleted his tweet, he was like, man, there's a bunch of crazy streamer shit going on. When are they going to start playing those video games again? when they come out, and I was like, dude, streamers play video games now? Like, really, streamers don't play video games anymore. If anything, streamers used to use video games as background noise. Like, none of them gave a shit. Remember Hearthstone? People would just play Hearthstone as background noise. They didn't give a shit about Hearthstone. It was just a thing. It was like, it was like PUBG. We'd use PUBG to just podcast. <laughs> and then occasionally you'd be like, oh shit, the game's happening. <laughs> no mount. Anybody get a mount? Mounts. Anybody? Anybody mounts? No mounts. Woo! Modern day a hockey game broke out at the fight last night. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Alright, moving on. Dude, I don't even know half the streamers anymore. It's like YouTubers. I don't even know half the YouTubers anymore. <laughs> Dude, there's like so many it's like so oversaturated in everything. Like streaming videos, like since everybody has a phone, like everybody can do it, which is why there's so many really bad things. <laughs> like sometimes people are so bad at comedy that I try to watch something that they're trying to be funny in and I'm like, oh, that was, uh, that was supposed to be a joke video. <laughs> ah. I guess I don't understand. Where am I? Oh, here I am. Dude, G4. G4 was literally... G4, even back in the day, G4 was like, oh, I guess it's just a TV video game channel. Like, that's what I always saw G4 as. And then they would have, like, Attack of the Show, and everyone's like, oh, it has Attack of the Show. And that was probably their biggest moment in G4 history, was having Attack of the Show with Olivia Munn and uh, Kevin, whatever. And then, that was it. Like, after that, we don't need G4. Like, we have a billion streamers and YouTubers and whatever, and now they're just like, it's like they didn't know what they were. In fact, yeah, I remember G4 for that, and then, uh, they played Ninja Warrior. Did they, oh wait, did they play, uh, Cops? Did they also play, like, Cops and Ninja Warrior? So they're like, oh, we'll bring G4 back. 
All right, I was right. It was cops. And it'll be great. And then... Like, I don't know what they expected. <laughs> they expect everyone to be like, Oh, dude, G4. Now I can get all my news and information gaming related from them. Like, no. People watch YouTube and streams and like, there's... Now you don't need G4 because... Every YouTuber and streamer is their own G4, essentially. Except run better. <laughs> Probably run a lot better than G4. And with more, you know, passion and care for what they're doing. There's like a channel, I don't even think it was G4. They would play like gaming, like gaming playthroughs. What the shit was it? It was on like Dish Network. So I remember for like a year or two, my parents got Dish Network. So they wanted satellite for some reason. And there was some gaming channel on it. I don't remember what it was. But they would just show like gaming playthroughs and some other stuff. But it wasn't G4. Yeah, I don't know. I think Dish Network died. <laughs> Probably because nobody wants satellite dishes. Hold on. Dish Network video game channel. Video game channel on Dish Network. I'm not sure if this is the place to ask, but years ago, I used to have this gaming channel that came up with HD Pack. I forgot the name of it, I know it's not G4. They used to play highlights from CS Battlefield footage. Dude, this guy knows what I'm talking about! From nine years ago... Eight upvotes. Someone said Tech TV, and someone said Try Tip of My Tongue. All right, that didn't help whatsoever. Was it? I don't think it was Tech TV. Where am I? Oh. <laughs> tech TV? Maybe it was Tech TV. I don't think it was. No, that's the... No. Will I ever find this channel? Uh, that's the only post I can find about it on the internet. And nobody knew what he was talking about. But I know what that guy's talking about. But I too don't know what it's called. Well. What are you gonna do? Mounts? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Bang, 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 bang. Uh, get rid of that. Ba -da -da -ba -ba -ba. Anyway, back to corporate McDonald's.com. Its ranks are crumbling, but they still outnumber us. My forces will keep them engaged here. You will not be fighting alone, Tarot. The demons will pay for every step. Sarkas seeks to corrupt the other titans. If we don't stop them, uh, the burning bro. There's no time to waste. So much. All right. Here. So many voices. 
Oh, we're already running. It was Tech TV? Wait. Maybe it was then. Play for our cable Sally channel. Oh, maybe it was. check out what do you know I guess it was tech TV oh my god that had a uh, Chris Perillo on it I remember him I used to watch his live stream back when nobody live streamed he was like one of the only people he's just like that nerdy guy he's like I'm Chris Perillo is he still doing stuff Oh my god, he is do he is still doing stuff. He looks very skinny, though. <laughs> looks skinnier than me. Three million. What the shit? The Titans can sever that connection, but not here. They need to bring the soul of Argus to their place of power, the seat of the Pantheon. The very cradle of creation. The final act will harness the last of Argus's power to imprison Sargeras. Where am I? Oh yeah, I got talked to him. I'm ready. And skip. Perfect. Perfect. Alrighty. Alright. gotten zero mount drops but it's gotta be a mount right here right now wait when's the uh, slime cat starting again or is it still or when's the like it's always up 
when's the slime cat get easy? <laughs> when's the thing where you can do all the slime cat raids or whatever, like it back to back to back? Oh, pre-patch. Okay, so we still got a while. Sick. That's fine. I'll get it by then. Uh, let's see here. There's a new fall treat in town. McDonald's USA debuts the cheese Danish. Okay. Uh, our planet. Okay. You know, I don't really care about McDonald's anymore. God. It's a loud raid alert. Uh, who we are. Right. Here we go. Let the fury of the sea wash away this corrupt. Is that what he said? Oh yeah, that is what he said. Hey, that was easy. <laughs> All right, here we go. Get ready. I'm about to get myself a map. There it is. The mount. Sick. Somebody got the scythe. That's pretty neat. At least that's something. At least somebody got something. Well. Either way. Let's see. Where is it? Scythe of the Unmaker. Oh, yeah. That's pretty sick. Look at that. Alright, well, we may have only gotten pants as a mount, but that's all I got. We didn't get any mount mounts, but we're done. So thanks for watching, everybody. If you're new here, click the follow button, follow along, be alerted when I go live. Check out all the links below the stream. A whole bunch of links down there. Check them all out. If you haven't seen the latest Pointless Top 10, go give it a like, comment, subscribe. Right there. Uh, thanks to buddy who did subscribe, resubscribe, drop bits, drop tips, gift subs. Thank you for all the support. And yeah. I will be back tomorrow playing... Oh no, I might play that new... Uh... Wandering Village game. It looked pretty fun. I might check it out. Uh, and then I also got Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? So we're going to play some of that. I'm going to tell you right now, I don't think I'm smarter than a fifth grader. They're teaching fifth graders some crazy shit nowadays. Monkey Island. Oh yeah, I heard that was good too. Alright, there's a lot of games we got to play, so we'll be playing some, some games. Video games. Crazy. Uh, Alright. That's it for me. Thanks for watching. What happened to that fishing game? Oh yeah, I still gotta finish that fishing game. I forgot about it. I... What's it called? The Luna's Fishing Garden. Alright, we gotta finish that too. I'll finish that too. Okay? Okay. See ya! My post-nasal drips roast in my throat.
Ah. <laughs> See you.